Come on, guys. I know it's hard to say goodbye. We don't want to say goodbye either, but the last thing we need is for my dad to walk in here and see you with Nate and me with James. Come on. <gasps> Welly, welly, well. Look what I have found. A couple of delinquents. A couple of liars. Now, I thought you two didn't know where... Well, we Danny just not found... Them. Them. You shut up. Danny, why don't you get in the car? No. Danny, get no, in the car. I'm through no, playing no, games. Well, calm down so that we can all just talk about this, please. Talk time's over. Okay, miss... You stop it! You put that gun down! What are you doing with that? Oh, I get Danny. Come no, on. no one's going anywhere with you. Not like this. Huh? Say that again. Stop. Say that again. We'll see if you're bulletproof. Stop! Hey, you shut up! Ah! I don't want to hear anything. I'm I know that like you're you. mad, but this is incredibly over the top oh, even really? for you. And what this pervert has done to Danny? Mr. Manning, nothing happened. You really think I should believe you? Todd, what the hell are you doing? This is not funny, Todd. Does it look like I'm joking? Put the gun down. You could hurt someone. Yeah, that's the whole point. Yeah, you're terrifying Danny. Do you mean the way she terrified me? You're the adult in this situation. Now act like one and put no. the gun down no. now! No. no! As soon as Star and Danny come with me, which would require James and Nate to get the hell out of the What's way. Okay. Fine. That's the way you want it. It's just, it's Sam's toy gun. He left it. Oh my god! You son of a bitch! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you crazy? I should call the cops on you! Why don't you go ahead and I'll call the cops on you for contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Have you lost your mind? Oh, they're fine. Don't worry about it. What are you doing here? Oh, Nate's mother called me. Did you really threaten her? What are you doing to her? Shh! Well, whatever I had to do to find my daughter, who disappeared for days so she could rut with you. Danny didn't have sex. Oh. Tell him, tell him. I can't because it's not true. We did have sex. I had sex with Nate, and it was awesome. We did it all over this cabin. I did it in the bed, and I did it on that couch right there, and I did it in the shower with him. And then when James got here, I did it with him, and Nate did it with Star, and everyone was doing everyone. It was just this big orgy. Oh, and we were drunk, too, yeah, and all drugged up. And we take the whole thing and put it on the internet for the whole world to see that Todd Manning's little baby girl isn't a baby anymore. Stop, stop, stop. stop it! Oh, well, well, you see how your daughter lies like that? Now, who do you think she gets that from? Where the hell do you get off? Danny, come on. Look, Mr. and Mrs. Manning, obviously none of what Danny said is true. No, I wish it were. Then maybe my dad could see that he can't control everything no. that I do. Da nothing happened, okay? We played some board games. Danny and Nate came and did what, what they wanted to do. They wanted to prove that they were responsible and could take care of themselves. Yeah, that's, that's great coming from an unwed teenage mother. <gasps> nice dad. Danny, you and Nate have taught me a lesson. Now I'm going to teach you a lesson. Actions have consequences. So I want you to take one good look at me. Because that's the last time you're ever going to see him. What's the matter with Whoa, you? Cool it, cool you it. You can't keep us apart. Watch me. Well, what are you going to do, Dad? Come with me to school? You going to follow me around every second of every day? No, I can get Sean to do that. I can also homeschool you if you want. I'll throw you back in that London border school your mom put you in. Sure, they've upped the security since the last Ma time you took Mom, do something. He's obviously uh, lost it. She doesn't get a say in this. Excuse me, I am her mother. Yeah, biologically, but you lost any claim on her the second you enabled this little caper. Are you listening to yourself? Have you forgotten how it worked out when you tried this whole thing with Cole and me? Yeah, yeah, but that was just a, like a trial run. I'm going to get it right this time. I'm not gonna let Danny make the mistakes you made. Mm -hmm. Don't think you're gonna get new mistakes with this guy over here, James or whatever. I'm not afraid of you. You should be. Are you threatening us? Well, oh, you're quick, okay. aren't you? Todd is obviously very angry. Once we all go home and he gets a chance to cool off, we'll be able to discuss this like rational adults, right, Todd? I wouldn't make any promises. Let's go. No. And if you try to force me, I'm gonna I'm run not away. I'm gonna warn you again, Danny. We're Come going on, now. Dave. No, now yep. we're going. No, no. Yes. no. Oh, 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 oh. Why don't you want them? You'll have to go through me first. 
Vicky, please, let me go. Star? Star and James, you take Danny to school so she can pick up her missed assignments. No, Mom, I'm not leaving you. That's crazy. Go! Come on, Danny. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Dad, I'm always going to hate you. Did you hear what I said? What do you think you're doing? I'm saving your ass and putting you on notice. I am leaving. If you make one move to follow us, I will make sure you never see me or your daughter ever again. You don't get between me and my daughter. You're right. I'm oh, I love this tea. You know where Vicky gets it? Yeah. I'm sorry, Todd. Did you say something? <laughs> You know, I read somewhere that you can learn to speak with a mouth full of marbles or a gag. Useful skill for someone in your position. Ooh, look, a shard. Were you trying to warn me? Now that is a step in the right direction. We're going to have to replace this. What's that you say? Spare no expense? It's the least you can do, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. That wasn't clear. It sounded like, well, you're sorry? You gonna apologize to the kids? Huh? Huh? You're welcome. What was that? You're sorry you acted like a lunatic and terrified our daughters and the very nice, very responsible, blameless boyfriends? You're sorry you didn't believe Star when she told you nothing happened? <laughs> Are you ready to act like a human being again, Todd? Oh, that's a very good boy. That wasn't so hard, was it? There we go. Ah. You bitch. I'm gonna kill you for this.